Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Studio Rack Unchained. In this video, I'm gonna show you how Chris Tabron's Tab Fix My Mix preset can help you to quickly tidy up a drum submix. We can take a groove that sounds like this and turn it into something that sounds more focused and detailed. Now before we continue, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the news, tips, tricks and tutorials from Waves Audio. Let's take another listen to that groove, this time in the context of the mix, and then we'll run it through the tab Fix My Mix preset. It sounds great in the mix, but I just want to control it a little bit more. That's where this preset comes into play. It's very useful. It's got all the tools that you need in order to control and condense a drum submix. Let's give you a very quick overview of what's going on here. So the first four macros link to four areas within HEQ. Tidy up is just a very gentle high pass filter. Booty gives a very gentle lift around about 60 hertz. D-Muddy is a broad gentle cut around about 300 hertz. And Clarity provides just a gentle little lift around right about 3k for sweetening. Now the next two macros correspond more to dynamic processing. So Glue adjusts both the threshold and makeup gain on the SSL bus compressor, which is very clever. If you notice, as we increase the macro here, we lower the thresholds and increase the makeup gain, which is pretty much a standard move when you're working on a hardware compressor. And the macro to the right of that is density. And this links down here to this parallel split. In the first parallel rack, we've got unprocessed. That will be what we're hearing from the HEQ through into the SSL. And the second parallel rack has a very aggressive amount of V-comp, which feeds into a high pass filter. And the point of density is just to turn up that second rack so we can blend in this over affected, crushy, pumpy sound. The last macro in this is Glisten, which provides just a tiny amount of top end sweetening around about 12k. Let's put this to work. As you probably noticed, I've got the SSL comp bypassed at the minute, which I suggest you do as well if you're gonna use this preset because if this glue macro is all the way counterclockwise, you'll notice that the makeup gain is in negative values there. So if you flick between engaged and bypass in studio rack, you're gonna get a level difference, which you're not gonna want when you're comparing your before and after, let's say with your four tone shaping macros here. Let's have a little play with this using the first four macros. Here what this can do. Bit of tidy up, just to control that big bomb end. Bit of D-muddy. And a bit of booty as well, just to help that kick drum. Back it off a touch. And clarity. Four. nice that gentle curve there just helps sit those drums in the mix that little bit better now let's move across now to the next two macros i like how the drums are sitting in the mix now i don't feel that they need any gentle glue compression from the ssl so i'm going to keep that off but i would like the drums to lift out of the speakers a little bit more and that's where this density macro is going to help let's listen to this density rack in isolation so we can hear what it's doing and then we'll blend it in On its own, that would be way too much, but let's just put the unprocess back in. And without. Oh, that just brings out more detail in the snare. 
program with a glisten now. Again, this is just a very gentle lift at 12k here. Here before. I hope you guys got something from this. If you haven't yet got your copy of Studio Rack, click that card at the top right of the screen, link in the description below to download your free copy today. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Dan from Waves, and I'll see you again soon.